So I'm just um, I'm just about to make an edit that has been suggested to me by Joshua Matthews. It involves this riff here. I think you can hear that. Also. So rather than it being straight all the way through, he suggested that it goes up. It starts up first. So to do that, I'm gonna to have to play the whole thing. Right, here we go. Something like that. My entire composing life, I've been inputting notes this way. <laughs> I see. That's. Does that work? Let's just. See, the thing is, you can never tell if something works until you listen to it through. I know that just hearing that that second set of notes, these are uh, these ones here. You sort of think, ah, that's not going to work. Well, I sort of think that, but actually, you know. It might. And it does. But I think I want more variation than just the first one. So this last bar goes and get rid of that. So na 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 na. Why am I not getting an audition? Normally auditions it. And that's right. Yeah. So now, if I put that on a loop. I wonder if it's, it, I could uh, just lower these strings in terms of velocity just here just to add another dynamic because I feel like they're the same all the way through now to make it interesting rather than these strings always being the same sort of velocities um, and such I can alter it so that they drop down here and it shouldn't be too noticeable So currently we've got um, it's up there. Now if I draw a line down here, that's the velocity bars, by the way. Oh yeah, straight away. So. Also, this one's changing. You see this note here? This note is a, obviously it's the same note all the way through, and if you listen carefully now, you can hear it. It's like. Wah. I want to change that right on this last bar. Let's zoom in. So something like that. Now 
it just adds a nice sort of a nice lift, it's kind of like what um, my good friend Joshua was saying. Um, you know, it just gives it this extra heroicness. That's now the same, except right at the end on these last four, I'm going to start ramping the velocity. So rather than it being in a straight line, uh, let's get it so you can see. Get out of the way. So, rather than it being the same velocity all the way through, which is currently about 79, 80, I'm going to put a ramp on that. Uh, or, as Cubase calls it, a parabola, which is probably the right word, but I don't know. So, rather than, so it's going to go back up to whatever it was at. I think it was at 118. Right, so now have a listen. So it comes out from here. This of the strings building. Oof, <laughs> a little bit high at the end. And um, so I'm just bring that one down. I think it might be a bit too high than the second one as well. Let's have a listen to that end bit. There we go. Sounding much better now. So that's just a bit of an insight into how I work, really. Um, just for you guys down the Tokyo Digital crew. And anyone who uses our music, um, very rough sort of video, I know. Yeah. Right, so I've just had some ideas, but I'm going to put that in another video. Bye-bye.